today I'm back with another kind of palette that I did a few weeks ago, and it was a very successful palette. It was all brand new items. Today, I've got another one. I have another wine and spirits palette. So if you remember, just a few weeks ago, you saw a palette from wine and spirits, and it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. I've sold almost the entire palette off so far, and I've cleared around 1200 or so dollars so far off that palette. I have another one today. This one is $225. That's not that much. Especially when everything appears, it's gonna be brand new. So a couple days ago, you actually saw me break this palette down because it came in a big, what they call them, Gaylord boxes. It's kind of like a watermelon box. But in the liquidation business, they're called Gaylord palettes. And that's what it came in, so I had to break it down, put it into smaller boxes, bring it inside so I could record this video. Because it's very hard to break a palette down from the back of your truck and shoot a video at the same time. It's just, it's a challenge. So this way it was easier for me. And I can do better lighting, and better sound, better quality. This one big palette Got broken down to roughly about six boxes plus some loose items. I I don't know the MSRP yet of this palette. I don't know it yet. But we're going to find out at the end of this video because I'm going to try to make sure and keep a tally going as we go through items so I can kind of gauge to see how much this stuff's worth. You know what I'm saying? How's that sound? So what this came from, is this came from one of my favorite liquidators that, that I get my stuff from now, Barton's Discounts in Indianapolis, Indiana. And what's even more fun is you've seen me on this channel open up several other $58 like hodgepodge mystery boxes. I call them hodgepodge. It's just my, my own term that I call, you know, it could be anything and everything. They're now selling them on their website to viewers. So I'm going to leave a direct link below in the description box. You can get your own $58 Barton's Discounts HodgePodge Mystery Box. 58 bucks plus shipping. I think it's pretty much a flat rate shipping across the US for like $80. So if you're curious of what those look like, I'll make sure and try to leave a link above right now. You can kind of, but don't do it now. Wait till after the video, this video. Kind of see what I'm talking about. So also check out Barton's Discounts. There, I'll leave a direct link below to their website. Also check out Barton's Discounts on Facebook. They do have a Facebook page where they actually break down palettes live on Facebook. So if you want to see some palettes that maybe I might not do myself on my channel, you can, you can watch them do it on their channel by Joe Barton, who owns Barton's Discounts. will break down lighting palettes, uh, tool palettes, plumbing palettes from Home Depot, places like that. So check out the Facebook page and their YouTube channel. All direct links down below. Your, their YouTube and Facebook, you can see them actually break down pallets. I watched them break them down because I'm curious of what I could possibly buy from them by watching them break down pallets that they get in fresh truckloads from places like Amazon, Target, Home Depot. You know what I'm saying? Huge shout out to Barton's Discounts for sponsoring this video. I am a customer of them. I love their products, I love their services, I love the people that work there. I've had nothing but good first-hand experience with Barton's discounts. I won't put my stamp of approval on a company that I don't personally buy from myself. So it is an honor for Barton's discounts to reach out to me and want to sponsor a video. But I am a customer of Barton's discounts first. And you can be too, because you can actually buy their $58 mystery boxes from them right now, which I'm super excited about because I love buying them and you can buy them right now if you want. Like one thing that I found nice about Barton's discounts is most of their pallets have seen their range between like $200 to $500. Like they're not in incredibly expensive. They're actually very reasonably priced for resellers like myself to actually buy them and flip them for a profit myself. This pallet is only $225. Like it's gonna be impossible to not make money on this pallet, you know? So it's always nice to find liquidators, especially local liquidators, that charge reasonable prices for their pallets. So I'm a huge fan of Barton just because, you know, they leave meat on the bone for resellers. You know? That's awesome. So we're going to do this. $225. So everything I've already reboxed, broke down the pallet, brought it back in the house so you can kind of go through it a little bit easier, not off the back of my truck, you know? 
So I try to put things kind of same items together in these boxes so it'll be easier when I actually do this video. Let me actually right now show a little clip of myself breaking down the pallet because I did record myself for like a minute breaking it down so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Like I had to break it down, rebox stuff. So I try to put stuff kind of together. So this first box, you're going to see, I counted a total of 98 kind of like koozies, like beer koozies. You can use them for bottles. Um, any kind of bottle will fit in this thing. There's a total of 98 in here. And on this one, they're all completely brand new. Their brand is Winner's Circle. And it is the race car driver number 18, Bobby something. I don't know. I should have researched that. But honestly, what I'll probably sell these all for is just locally. Yeah, these are no longer sold on Amazon. I will sell these locally for honestly like a dollar a piece. So there's two kinds in here. Then you also have the Southern Illinois Salukis. Total of 98 of these. So this box right here. Honest, real resale price is what I will sell it for. I can get a dollar piece for these koozies. But you actually could, if I wanted to, I could lot these things up, let's say 15 of them. Put them on eBay for like 12, 13, 15 dollars shipped, you know? Even if I if I lotted like 15 together for like 15 shipped, these things weigh pretty much like two ounces a piece, where I could ship them for it, like across the country for like five dollars so if i did want to sell these online i could i could grouping them together in lots of 10 15 or 20. and actually if you group them i might be able to charge more than a dollar a piece for them so there's multiple so there's many ways i could sell stuff like this that comes in bulk you know sell it locally or put, combine them and sell them online so those 98 my honest price is what i will sell those things for at a buck a piece, $98. That's realistic, okay? And so, next, what I got out of this pallet, where I <laughs> I ran out of boxes, but in this pallet, there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these brand new. Ah, I put them there too tight, didn't I? Brand new. Come on. Technical difficulties. <laughs> I put them in too tight. Ah, I'm going to work to get. Okay, there we go. So kind of what it looks like. The brand is called Pantry by Twine. Whenever I actually was breaking down the palette, I actually looked these things up. They're no longer sold on Amazon. They're not sold at Target anymore. So it looks like this actual mixing bowl, which this actually is a seven quart mixing bowl, stainless steel. They're all brand new. Um, couldn't find any place that was still selling these because it appeared to be they're discontinued, but they're brand new. Very nice stainless steel, stainless steel mixing bowls. Like I would honestly, I'm asking, I will get $10 a piece for these bowls, which you're saying, you know what? That's kind of low. Yes, honestly, I could get more than $10 for these if, if I held out. But I'm really a big, bigger fan of the quick flip, you know, where I just like to move stuff quicker, especially if I have like 12 of these. You know, like I could probably sit on these things as maybe $15, $20 a piece. I could sell them over time. It might take me a few months, but I'm more of let me flip these things quick, recoup the money, and then reinvest the money. So instead of sitting on these, trying to make like an extra five bucks a piece, let me sell them for 10 instead of 15, take that $10, reinvest, and flip it, and then flip it, and then flip it. So the time it took me, the time it would take to sell this thing for $15, I might have actually flipped this for $10 and reflipped it two or three more times, the like the profits again and again and again. So I actually might have made two or three times my money back 
selling it for 10 in the long run than it would be just holding out for like $15. So you know I'm saying that's kind of like resellers, we all have our different way of selling things, you know? Some people don't mind to hold on, on to items for the long term to get top prices. Some resellers like me, I'm the quick flip guy. I want to turn that money and turn the money, turn the money and turn the money. Keep that money flowing, keep that money growing and that's just my style. Is it right? No. Is it wrong? No. It's just my style, you know? So these 12 bowls, 10 bucks a piece, I easily can get $120 for all 10 bowls. So right now, with just the 10 or the 12 bowls and the whole box of the like beer koozies, I'm looking at $218. This whole pallet is only $225. So I almost have the entire value back of the cost of this pallet. And we just started. Let me do this one next over here. There's actually two of these boxes right here. There's two of these. These actually came um, in the original box. And what is in these things, I think I opened one. Yeah, I opened up this one. And what came in these boxes, so there's a total of eight of these in two boxes, okay? And what came in these boxes are some very nice, let's see. Actually, I think I might have opened up a different one. Because <laughs> I, I remember I, I actually cut the tape open. Was it that one? I don't know. So what is actually in these things? is some very nice glass kind of like wine cups or beer cups whatever you want to call these things they have like a design of them of like a face on them every case is brand new and I can look up oh it's called a tiki glass it was supposed to be kind of like looking like a tiki okay so on Amazon they are no longer being sold on Amazon. This one is discontinued. So some of this stuff that's gotten liquidated, it's 100% brand new product. It's factory sealed cases. It's just been discontinued. Doesn't mean it's bad. Doesn't mean it's broken. It just means the company is either updating the cup or they have just stopped making it. So looking on Amazon, I'm seeing like, um, here's like a case of three glasses that sold for like $18. Looks like they're selling for like $6 a glass in that range. So it looks like a case, each case of four is probably going to be around $24 a case. But honestly, whew, that's loud. But honestly though, I will ask for these cases, 20 bucks a case, because I've got eight of the money I need to sell through. So I want to sell them. I want to take that money and keep turning that money. So a total of eight cases at 20 bucks a case, that is $160. Not bad. So right now we're at $378. $378. That's uh, after just a small chunk of this pallet. And some people are saying, you know what? You cannot get 20 bucks out of these, out of this case of glasses. You know what? Let's let's say I'm not able to. Let's say I have to mark these things down, you know, to three dollars a glass, twelve bucks a case. Let's say I get twelve bucks a case for them, times eight cases. That'd be like what, ninety six dollars for all eight cases? That's still good money. They're all brand new. So even if I had to do that, I mean, I'm still looking at already being in profit right now. You know, so I mean, looks like the retail will be about $24 a case, but I'm going to try to get 20 and if I can't get 20, then I'll drop it down to like, you know, $15 a case. See if I can get 15 for it, but these are nice. It's a sets of four. So I know that these things will sell over time. You know, they are going to sell. 
Okay, now let's get into some of the boxes that I actually boxed up in, in my normal kind of, you know, boxes you see. So, in this first box, out of the big palette, I pulled off a total of, these are these, uh, the bronze serving trays that you actually saw me get in the last palette. And I've actually sold all the ones I already had. Let me look in my records and actually see what I sold them for because I actually have my records right here on my computer. Okay, so I originally was asking for these. Originally, $34.99 a piece is what I was asking. After about a week, none of them sold, so I dropped it down to 29. Then like four or five days later, I still couldn't sell them, so I dropped them down to 24 dollars When I dropped them down to 24 dollars this is called 25 bucks, they all sold. And I sold a total of five of them. So on my last pallet, I got five of them. I've sold them all. I'm sold out. They're gone. $25 a piece. Okay? That's realistic prices. That's what I got for them. That is realistic prices I'm letting you, you, you know ahead of time. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have a total of nine of these bronze serving trays. Let me just kind of show you if you forget what they look like. Oh, not bronze. I keep calling them bronze. Gold serving trays. Yep, they're all gold. I can't remember. I kept calling it bronze. Disregard, I came in. I, I don't know my colors anymore. But gold serving trays. These are actually a very upscale kind of a brand called Visky V I S K I. It is not a cheap brand. When it comes to like wine and spirits, that's actually a pretty pretty good brand. Their stuff's not cheap. So I got I got nine of these. I sold the first five for 25 bucks a piece. So at nine, 25 bucks a piece, right there we're talking $225. The value of this palette, or the price, was $225 for the entire palette. I can turn these nine gold platters and get the entire price of the palette back in just these nine gold platters. They're brand new. So already, right now, I'm looking at realistic selling number of $603. These are realistic numbers, okay? Realistic. This isn't even selling stuff for full price. This is selling some things for a dollar a piece. And selling these platters for roughly about, uh, 10, about 25% less than retail. And then those mixing bowls, I'm selling those things way too, I'll mark them at 10 bucks a piece, sell them, sell them locally for 10. And I think 10 is actually kind of cheap on those. But let's make that money. So here in this box, I have quite a few of these in this box right here. And they're all brand new. Everything so far has been brand new. So we got, we've got this Pinky Up Bennett Ceramic Tea Mug and Infuser. Each one of these is still factory sealed, have not been opened up yet. There's a total of one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. Total of nine. Let's see if they're still being sold on Amazon. Yes, these are actually sold on Amazon. Pretty good rank on them too. So I could actually list these on Amazon right now since these are still fighter sealed, they're still brand new, boxes are still immaculate condition. I can sell these things on Amazon for $19.99 a piece. $19.99 a piece. So you're talking these could sell for 20 bucks a pop. And there's a good chance that's probably where I might sell these things is Amazon. But if you take off the Amazon selling fees, which is usually around 30% selling fees whenever you take everything into consideration, the selling fees, the shipping fees and everything, it's around 30%. It could be as high as 35% depending on the cubic inches of the item. But say 30%, $20, that's six bucks in selling fees. 
So I could clear on these nine items around $14 a piece. Selling these on Amazon right now, $14 a piece. So these nine of them, all brand new, after selling fees. I'm, I'm actually telling you real prices right now. $20 minus selling fees, what's it gonna cost? I can clear $14 a piece on these nine right now, which is $126. Let's add that in. Plus 126. So right now we're looking at $729 so far. The pallet was 225. So right now, you're looking at $500 in profit on this wine and spirits pallet. That's why so far the I've been very impressed with these wine and spirits pallets because they're insanely profitable. Like, no joke, these things can make you some money. So next item, Libby five-piece whiskey flight. Oh, so it's like a wooden tray with whiskey glasses on it. Great for parties. The top of it is a little bit dirty just because of storage. It's good to have to wipe that off. But once again, the item is brand new. Still factory packaged. Wow, so on Amazon, this thing in brand new condition sells for $59.95 on Amazon right now. Okay, so like the top of this thing just has some like backroom dust on it. Let me just wipe that off real quick. There. Now it is in Amazon condition. So I can send this in Amazon right now and sell it for 60 bucks. That's that's the honest Amazon price. After the selling fees, is, let's just say let's just say twenty bucks in selling fees. That's actually going to be a little bit high, but I could clear on this thing forty bucks. I'm, I'm giving you realistic prices here, realistic prices. So in this box, there's two of these. This is oh, it's it's a wine or it's like a beer bucket. You can put six beers in here, keep all your beers cold. That's neat. Country Home Galvanized Beer Caddy, it says. That's kind of neat. If I had some kind of like an outside, like a gondola in the pool and stuff, I'd probably keep one of these. Oh, awesome. This sells on Amazon. It has a good rank on it, too. Sells for $19.12 on Amazon. $19.12. So I can sell this right now. Take off the 30% selling fees on Amazon. I can clear around $13 for this beer caddy. In this box, there's two of them. 13 a piece, 26 more dollars. So right now we're looking at $795. Okay, that is that is realistic selling prices. No sugar coating, no nothing. Still factory sealed, so we have a beer bong on this. <laughs> I've never sold, no, not a beer bong, but a uh, beer funnel. Or they do call it a, a beer bomb, but it's like a, a beer funnel. I've never sold anything like this. It's a little bit different. So this sells on Amazon new for $10.99. So not very expensive. So honestly, this I won't sell on Amazon because selling fees will take up a huge chunk of the money. I will actually sell this thing locally. And honestly, probably like five bucks, honestly. Last item in this box, it is a large one. The boxes had a little bit of box damage on it. And Amazon is very picky about box condition. So I would not sell this on Amazon to do to box condition because they want the boxes to be in pristine condition on their website. Oh, that's everything's brand new still. So it is a traditional decanter. Box a little bit banged up. Let's see how much thing sells for on Amazon. If they actually do sell on Amazon still. Sells for $25.09. So since the box is kind of beat up on this thing, honestly, I'll sell this thing locally for about $15. You know? Because once the person buys it, they're, they're going to take the decanter out of the box and pitch the box anyway. But box condition, that is not good for Amazon. I could do it on eBay, but I'll probably sell it locally, more than likely, at $15. So after that box, right now, the selling total, the potential selling total, 
which is below retail prices, is $815. So let me rebox this stuff up and let's do the next box. And we got the next box. Oh, I forgot about this. This box actually has, I put two more of the gold trays in this box. Two more. 25 bucks a piece. 50 more dollars right there. Let's see. This was the only item in this box of, or hold on, wait a minute. This is actually a pack of one, two, three, four, five in here. It is Revel Paper. So it is some kind of red satin bottle bag. So it is a red satin bottle bag. That's so much it sells for on Amazon if they still sell it. So they're sold for $12.20 a piece. 12 bucks a piece. In this bag, there is a total of five of them. So that's a total of like what? 60 bucks? So this bag has a full retail of $60, okay? But honestly, what I'll probably do is try to sell these things locally and uh, try to get like eight bucks a piece out of these things, which is about 30% 30, 30 below retail. And if I can get the whole bag, about 40 bucks. I know some people are probably thinking that I'm overestimating a lot of items but I'm telling you what the actual retail price is. The retail price in those bags are 12 bucks a piece. And I'm saying that I'm gonna sell them for around $8 a piece, which is below retail prices. They're still brand new, still factory sealed. And as a, as a reseller, I could hold out for a full $12. I'm not going to. I'm gonna flip those things quick. If a person says, hey, I'll buy all five of those for six bucks a piece, give you 30 bucks. You know what? As a reseller, I'll take that. I'll, I, I'll sell the whole bag for half price. Move it, get my 30 bucks, reinvest that 30 bucks again. Keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. So in this box, I have three more of the beer caddies. All brand new, and of course, I forget what I quoted on the beer caddies already, because I start rambling, I start talking, and I forget. <laughs> I forget stuff pretty quickly when it comes to, you know, certain prices. But it'll take a second to find out. All right, so these are 19 bucks a piece. I remember now, I was gonna sell them for $13 a piece. I got three of them. Let's, let's, let's even say 12 bucks a piece. Let's make it a little bit cheaper, 36 bucks for all three of the beer caddies, brand new. So right now we're looking at $941. So as of right now, the cost of this pallet is $225. There's over $700 of potential profit with this pallet already. That's why I love Spartan discounts and their wine and spirits pallets. I bought two so far. The first one, I made like around 1200 bucks of pure profit, almost everything sold. This one, I think it's gonna be about the same way again. It's gonna be some crazy profit. So here I got a total of three of these. These are the Pinky Up. No, this is, okay, they're all factory sealed. Pinky Up ceramic teapot and infuser. The bottom of the box actually does have a price tag on it of $29.99. But let's see if these are sold on Amazon. Okay, on Amazon, they're sold for $21.99 a piece on Amazon. Pretty good rank to them. These things will sell pretty quickly. So the full retail is $30. They sell for $22. So you know what? These will probably go into Amazon. $22 a piece. About 30% in fees. So I should be able to walk away with about $15 a piece after selling fees. I'm actually taking off selling fees and telling you realistic prices that I'll get for this stuff. So those three right there, $45. After selling fees, after all costs of selling. And next we've got two of these. Oh, I know what these things are. Cause I, cause I opened one up when I was packing these boxes. Well, maybe. 
Let me see what the barcode says, if it'll scan it, before opening up the box all the way. I opened up something. Okay, so in this box, there's a quantity of 10. It is Marketplace Silver two bottle carrier. So it's cardboard wine bottle carriers. They sell on Amazon for three bucks a piece, okay? So honestly, you know what? This Amazon prices, this whole case is worth 30 bucks. But three bucks a piece, you know what? I'm actually just gonna sell these locally for a dollar piece for the, for the uh, two bottle carrying packs. So this case, realistic prices, about 10 bucks this whole case, a dollar for each carrying bag, okay? And then these, I think, were the other wine bags. Yeah, these are the Good Life wine bag with satin ribbon handles. The last pallet, I got over like 50 or 60 of them, I think. And I've been selling these things for 50 cents a piece. I originally tested the market and I priced them off at a dollar a piece and they were not selling. Dollar a piece isn't a bad price, but that's like top of the line pricing, okay? But I marked them down to 50 cents a piece. When I did that, they started moving. So each box of these has 10 of them. So each box here is worth $5 a box. So 10 more dollars. So with those three boxes, I just passed the $1,000 mark. So right now we're looking at $1,006 return after selling fees and everything. Last thing in this box, it is a True Brands, still factory sealed, so I don't want to break the seal on it. Let me just scan the barcode, see what the barcode says, without breaking the factory seal. Let's see, this is a True Fabrication Isle Tiki Glass by, oh, it's it's another one of those sets of those Tiki Glasses, remember, that, that you saw? The set of eight. Here is another one, so there's actually nine of them now. If I remember correctly, I was going to sell them for like, what was it, like 12 bucks a case? Like $3 a glass? Does that sound right? I'm trying to think back of what I said. So, I'm pretty sure it's like 12 bucks a case maybe. Something like that. So, another 12 bucks for that case. That is it for this box. So, after this box, I'm looking at a total selling price after selling fees, after selling costs of $1,018, okay? Let me box this up and we'll do the next box. Here is the actual final box of from the original huge pallet. We've gone through two boxes I repacked, two cases of the wine glasses, 10, 12 of those stainless steel mixing pots and then the whole case of the wine koozies, beer koozies. This is the last box that I repacked from the original pallet. So, I haven't actually looked at these boxes since I bought it, so I kind of forgot which one of these boxes had. But this one appears there is a total of six more of these really cool galvanized beer caddies, brand new, still wrapped up, still with tags. And if I remember correctly, it wasn't at 12 bucks a piece. They sold new for, was it $19? I got six more at 12 bucks a piece. That's $72. That's not bad, you know what I'm saying? So I had 72 more dollars onto the total. So I think that's a total of like what, maybe 10 of those now, 10, 11, 12 of them. So if I cannot move these things at full price at 19, then what I'll do is I'll sell these things on, cause I'll probably try first on Amazon. If I can't get the 19 bucks a piece on Amazon, which is the going retail price, and I'll sell them locally for like, honestly like 12 bucks a piece. And these things will sell. Things, things like this, people like to buy for like display pieces. Cause you could actually put like stuff in this or just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, six more of those. And then I've got, I forgot I had more of these in here. We've got three of these wine bags. Five, what is it? Red satin bottle bags in each bag. So there's a total of 15 of them. And I already forgot prices. Let me see what, see what it is. So far, everything in this palette, every 
everything has been brand new. Most everything is still, everything I think has been in like factory packaging still. Most of the stuff still been factory sealed. Okay, they sell for 12 bucks a bag. Oh, I remember I was gonna sell them for $8 a bag. If I sold them on Amazon, I clear about eight bucks a bag. And so that'd be 40 bucks a bag. But like I said, it's a person that walked up and said, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll give you six bucks a bag, 30 bucks for the entire bag, I'd do it in a heartbeat. But if I sold this on Amazon, after selling fees, I cleared about $8 a bag. It'd be 40 bucks a bag. There's three, there's three bags here. That's $120 right there. If I could sell them all for full price on Amazon, that'd be $120 clearing after selling fees. And then, let's see. I think this is actually one of the ones that I opened up. Yeah, here it is. So we got four of these cases. These are the wine bags. When I, when I uh, broke down the pallet to see what was in here and Whatever I did, I accidentally cut through the, the top wine bag on this one. So this this one right here is, you know, this top bag's damaged. But it's just wine bags that I'm selling for 50 cents a pop. Hey, minus this one because I completely damaged it. Wasn't being careful with my knife. Always be careful cutting into boxes. Take my own advice. So these are like five bucks a box. If there's 10, 10 per box, four boxes, that's five bucks a box, it's 20 bucks. And there is one damage, was like $19.50, but we'll just call it $20 for 40 wine bags, 20 bucks. Oh, we have an, a fifth one, $25 total. So right now we're looking at $1,235. The pallet cost was 225. So right now you're looking at a profit after selling fees, after selling fees at over a thousand dollars of profit. That's really good. And last item in the entire pallet, we have another one of these, the Libby five count. This sold on Amazon new for $59.99. And after selling fees, it just, it's dusty. It's got to wipe, wipe off the top. Then it is in Amazon sellable condition. It's just like it just has like backroom dust on it, like warehouse dust. Thirty bucks, or thirty percent selling fees. So after the sixty, if I get full price for it, but that's sixty bucks is, is is the going price for this set, brand new. I'll even make sure it's brand new. Check it. Yep, board still factory sealed. All the cuffs. So selling fees be like eighteen dollars. It'd be like 42 bucks. We'll just round down to 40 bucks. Like I did for the first one. This says a potential selling price after selling fees of $40. So that's everything. That's the entire pallet. So the cost of the pallet from Barton's discounts out of Indianapolis, Indiana was $225. That was the cost of this pallet, $225. Selling everything for under retail, minus selling costs, minus selling fees. I'm looking at a total of $1,275. That's really good. That's really good. So if you if you want to know the full MSRP, pretty much take that $1,275 times 30% selling fees. Let's do that real, real quick. Looks like it's about $382 in selling fees. So we can add $382 on to $1,275 gives a total of about 1657 let's round down this is around full msrp is around 1600 dollars for this whole palette that's the full msrp it's around 1600 everything was brand new nothing was damaged everything was complete everything was in the original box packaging most i think everything had tags on it still so you take off the selling fees it's gonna be about i'll make about return about twelve seventy five. Take off the the original cost two twenty five. If you bought this pallet, you pretty much make a thousand dollars. That's good. This is why I pallet flip. This is why I pallet flip because 
Pals can be extremely profitable sometimes. Like this one is an extremely profitable palette. How many reselling type of jobs out there, say if you're a reseller, if you're a thrifter, or if you're storage um, container kind of flipper, how many times can you take your 225 and flip it into a thousand? I think pallet flipping is one of the only reselling jobs where, where, where you can take 150 bucks, turn it into 800. Take 200, turn it, in, tur turn it into a thousand. Take 500, turn it into 5,000. Yes, it's possible. I've done that before. I've done that. But this is why I love pallet flipping. Pallets like this. Whenever you buy a pallet and everything ends up being brand new. It is so easy to sell items that are still brand new. It is so easy. Because the buyer isn't concerned because the items aren't used. Items are in packaging, items have tags, items are new. So whenever you come across a pallet like this that I got from Barton's Discounts, grab it because these pallets are the kind of pallets that you love to get as a reseller because these are the pallets that make us a lot of money. So make sure you take one second to go down below if you want to buy, which I've done what, six, five, six, seven of the $58 Barton Discounts mystery boxes. Make sure you check them out. Um, direct link down below to buy them. I've actually got, I think, three more that I'm gonna do probably next week for a video. So stay tuned for next week. I'll be doing and they had three of the $58 Barton discount mystery boxes. So if you're uncertain if you wanna buy one or not, watch my video from last week where I did three of them. Watch my video next week where I do three more of them and you can make your decision if you wanna buy one or not. If you just wanna buy them to, just to get some Christmas gifts, some birthday gifts, some little gifts, flea markets, if you wanna sell flea markets, garage sales, check out Barton's discounts, their YouTube page. Make sure you, you subscribe to it because they do palette breakdowns just like this but but they do ones that i don't do myself they do like home depot lighting palettes plumbing palettes tools palettes that i normally hardly ever buy myself so i watch them just to see what they can get so check them out on youtube and facebook direct links to those are below subscribe to them check out their palettes because i enjoy watching other people who do palettes themselves because it helps me decide maybe what I should buy next, you know? So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, getting a, an entire power, everything's brand new, that's not common, you know? You usually will get broken stuff, damaged stuff, used stuff, nasty stuff. You usually don't get pals that are completely brand new. But I found out though, the wine and spirit palettes that Barton's gets, it's all brand new stuff and it is wonderful wonderful stuff as a reseller. Next week, I'm gonna do three more, like I said earlier, of the $58 Barton discount mystery boxes that you can buy right now if you want. They are a blast. I love those things. Direct links below if you wanna buy one. I'll see you next time, and I'm out.